I can just clear today without getting into any crashes and just not make any mistakes, I'd be really happy with that. <laughs> Okay, here we are. We're more or less all set up. Doing good. This is race one, which is deferred. So you'll see this is episode five, I think. <laughs> and today I have to decide whether I'm gonna run new tires or old tires. We have an allotment of tires this year. And so I gotta figure out how to spread them out. <laughs> A lot of guys will run new tires today, which means they'll run used tires tomorrow. So if I flip it around, That'll give you an advantage tomorrow, but I gotta pay the price for today. Not sure. Congrats. Congrats for the baby. Thanks, and man. And the surprise for your mother. Is that for real? Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. No oh way. Oh my god. <laughs> it was like absolutely gorgeous. Wasn't that funny? Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. And it's always like that. We make that expectation yeah. for them to see, to looking, and we say, and we have to give tips like, did you like your phone? That the part was. <laughs> isn't, isn't the foam inside the cup really good? Yes, it's good. That's so nice. The qualifying was felt really good. If I can just clear today without getting into any crashes and just not make any mistakes, I'd be really happy with that. <laughs> Show me make a coffee there. That's right? Let's see how you do your coffee at the track. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> so you guys are doing 53 fives out there. I know. 53. Up to the first 54 is 12. Yeah, 54 seconds is 12 place. Yeah. So they're fast. Feel the 17 though, so lots of carnage. Pick your spots in a race and we're gonna have fun. Ladder. We're it's gonna have fun. Good. No, it's gonna, gonna have fun. Thanks, Brian. What's this around your neck? What is that? Cool towel. It's a nice Ooh. cool towel. Ooh, it's cool. <laughs> Ooh. Can I feel your towel? <laughs> is this one yours? No, this is Mr. Thompson's. Hey, Mr. Sir Thompson, how you doing? Very good. How are you doing? Are you racing today? Yeah. Yeah, you got second today in our uh, master's class. That's fantastic. How many pounds of fuel per lap? For, for ten laps. For ten laps, let's say that. Half a pound a lap? No. That seems too high. No. Too much. Way too, too much. much? Way too much. I think probably two and a half pounds. Two, I think two pounds for 10 laps. Two pounds for 10 laps, right? At Not the, even. At the most. I was super overweight. Most. I was super overweight. Thank you. First lap, always very exciting. Here we go. I can see everyone's bunching up on the inside, so instead of trying to jump on the inside, I'm gonna go nice and wide, set up the exit. Yeah, exactly what I hoped would happen. <laughs> All right, looks like a pass is gonna happen here. Let's just keep ourselves clean and see what happens. All right, yes! <laughs> Chris, I'm coming for you. I'm coming, buddy. Hey, look at this. Oh, Dan messes up his exit. Look at that. He's bouncing, trying to get some grip. Oh, Chris is all over him. Okay, let's stay on this. This could get interesting real fast. <laughs> well, look at that. Dan's bumper. Look at his bumper hanging off. Oh, no, that's a meatball. I wonder if he's going to realize it's hanging like that. Oh, no. Ah, look at that. Your bumper's hanging, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I was I was distracted and John Kwan came through. Ah! <laughs> All right, let's get our head back to the game. Oh, what's going? On? Oh, oh no, what's going on here? All right, on the gas. Oh, I had to let up. Ah.
look how hard they're pushing, right to the limit of the track. Amazing. Oh, they're making a passing attempt. Let's go get Chris. He's gonna be slow. Let's make it happen. All right. So far, so good. That was fantastic. We didn't rub anybody. We didn't hit anybody. He was able to make up a few spots because of other people's mistakes. It was great. That felt really good. I set a time that was two tenths faster than qualifying, so I think I'll do it again. It's getting hot though. Oh my God, is it getting hot? <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. this situation developing we'll see what happens oh my goodness there's a spot oh we we get knocked off can we make it yes on the inside awesome that is exciting two spots in one corner Woo! can we hold on to it no nope, no not yet not yet come on on the outside yes for the traction for the win <laughs> yes we're right, here we go just get up to number 24 let's make this happen <laughs> i'm really excited about this <laughs> Here we are, a lap later. Who's coming behind us? There he is again, coming to give us a hard time. <laughs> oh man, that was really good. He must be on a different gear. Okay, let's see if we can line him up on the exit here. And yes, but I couldn't. Just give him a little bit of a thumb just to kind of keep him moving. Didn't have enough to make the pass there. Look at him driving on the inside, trying to protect against us. Oh, what's going on here? Number 24 holding up the whole charade. Oh, whoa, that was dangerous. I should not have done that. Lesson, don't do that. That was bad. <laughs> All right, there comes number two on the inside. Good job. Look at Dan coming up fast on the back side. He's trying from the outside. Nope, trying to do the switch over on the inside. Does it work? Kind of. He's kind of in front, but he's on the outside of the geometry. The next corner, couldn't hold on to it. There he is again into the, the hairpin trying to get on me quite hold up I'm just holding up if you look in the back there's like a huge line of guys it's like everyone's being held up by me yes we're just gonna hold up the whole line <laughs> they're all taking their turn trying to figure out who can get me first all right Dan you're not gonna get this one easily <laughs> all right trying again this is coming out of the back straight and he starts to sneak it up on the inside but he kind of smartly backs out of it because there's just no room there so trying again <laughs> Out of the front straight, and this is where the guys, I think I have the wrong tooth. The guys are clearly going a little faster than me on this straightaway, so I think I need to gear up for the next race. Look at this angle. Look at him in the back there. Look how far his nose is to the left. Oh my goodness. And how he didn't like lose it. Look at him, he's still in there. Like he still held onto it and held onto his position. That was wild. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> okay, here he goes. He's making his trap. I bog, you can hear the bog. <laughs> Trying again. Man, this is a good fight. This is what you live for. This is what you want in karting. It's just a great fight like this. On the outside, he's trying to make it happen. I've got the corner geometry on this one. Can he do the switcheroo? No, he couldn't do it. He couldn't hold on to it. <laughs> he's done it like three times now. <laughs> Man, he must be getting frustrated. <laughs> oh, look at this. He gets a much better exit. He gets on the inside of that corner. This is really hard to hold on, so give him that corner and see if I can make it come up in this corner here. And it was just didn't quite have it. And a little bit of a bump, and that was all him. Good job, Dan. That was a great pass. You can see Chris now trying to take advantage of my slow momentum from the bump. Oh my god! I felt that. That was terrible. What happened? Oh, okay. Well, we're both okay. We're both driving, so <laughs> let's just go with it. That was great driving, Dan. You did great. You did it. Yeah, tell me about your shirt. Polish Karting Mafia. <laughs> we like to race and maybe drink sometimes. Once in a while. Once in a while. But not on the track, not remember. On the track. <laughs> how, how you did? I did great, but my results in the grid was terrible. I think it was But 10th. you feel good. Oh, I felt great about it. Okay. So Josh, are you running special gas or what's going on? Oh, just regular co-op gas. Your haircut looks great. Yeah.
All right, we're just settling into the race now. Let's just get into the groove, get behind each other. All right, let's see where we can pick up from this. All right, here coming into the back straight, Nathan gets beside me. He's right alongside, so we kind of yield the spot to him. It's pretty early in the race. There's no need to fight for this too aggressively. Let's get going. We're now on to lap six or seven. Here's Chris coming in. Chris has just got his front wheel inside, not that much to hold the corner, and you can see he just wheel on wheel rides up on top of me. He goes right into the barriers. <laughs> Doing this in slow-mo, you can see wheel to the back wheel, and he rises up onto the chair, thumps me in the back, goes right around, misses the engine barely, and then goes straight into those barriers. Unfortunately, it did hit me right and thump in the middle of the back and I was a little worried about my back. I did try to finish the race. You can see the yellow. Look at the barriers. They're just all over the track. He really hit those barriers hard. I hope Chris is okay. It never even occurred to me that Chris might have been hurt by this. I guess. You okay, Chris? Alright, so we keep pushing through. We've got to try and finish the race. The cart's got a little wobble to it. It's handling a little bit differently, but we got to keep pushing. Get the checker flag. Now it's time to relax and figure out... Oh, what happened? Ah. That wasn't so good. Felt like I was doing okay. And Chris challenged me. I think it was Chris. Challenged me into the bottom there. He went airborne and he hit me right in the back. I could feel his tire actually hit me in the back. So I'm pretty sore right now. There's no markings, those were there from before, so he must have hit the wheel here, wheel on wheel. You can see the rubber on the top of the seat. Look at that rubber right there. That's where his wheel was, all the way up to the right-hand side of my back. And then down, you can see on the exhaust. I think that was miscommunication. That was just an accident. So a little bit of a bent bumper, but it should be an easy fix. Dan did a great job driving. He didn't push me off, he didn't rub me. He, was, he did a great job. I'm impressed and happy with Dan. And I was happy that I could keep him behind me as long as I could because I'm pretty sure I was under geared. I think those guys are running a little taller gear. Um, I'm hesitant to say if I ran the same gear would be as good because I'm still not making quite a few mistakes. And having a slightly taller gear or slightly shorter gear helps me recover from my mistakes a little quicker. So it might be, even though in any single lap it's probably not as fast, I think overall it's probably the right gear for me. Tomorrow's another day. You gotta do some bumper bolts. My dad's gonna help me out. And we're gonna pack up and go home. If I could hit 400 pounds, I'd be really happy. I haven't hit 400 well, pounds in three years. 